Aloha no. My name is Clyde Aikau. Uh, if you're over 40 years old, you can call me Clyde. If you're under 40 years old, you can call me Uncle Clyde Aikau. I am the younger brother of Eddie Aikau, and I am the youngest of the Aikau family, made up of five brothers and one sister. It is my pleasure to be here today and to say hello to all of the Hank Yu Japanese people and the Japanese people in general. It is my pleasure to say aloha. Um, I want to also express that Uncle Clyde, at 71 years old, is the oldest big wave, active big wave rider in the world. Thank you very much. Brother. My brother Eddie Aikau, uh, we were born and raised in Maui, and my lineage of my Hawaiian family comes from Hana, Maui. But in 1959, when I was six years old, we came from Maui to Honolulu for better opportunity and better jobs for my dad and for my family. My brother Eddie and I and all of my family was always close to the ocean. Back on Maui, we made our own canoes. We made our own spear guns. We went fishing in Honolulu Harbor as little children. And we also learned at a very long, a young age to, to work and to provide money for the family. And I remember at seven years old at the Maui Palms Hotel on Waikiki, we used to shoe shine shoes uh, for the visitors that came to uh, Maui at that time. And we made a few, few dollars to uh, help and feed the family. So for my family and Eddie, it was always trying to help the family, especially trying to put food on the table to feed all of our siblings. When we came to Honolulu, we started surfing and learning to ride what we called a pipo board. And in 1959, my brother became the master of pipo boarding in Waikiki. And at that time, it was a very uh, exciting time for us local kids because all of the families from all over Honolulu, from Waikiki to Kapahulu to Kaimuki to Palolo Valley, used to come down to Waikiki and every Sunday we used to have a surf off, a challenge with the pipo boarding. And understand that it's the size of a boogie board and my brother learned how to stand up on it and really surf really well on it. And my brother Eddie eventually became one of the best riders of pipo boarding in 1959. After that, we uh, got into riding surfboards. We walked up to the beach in front of the Moana Surf Rider Hotel and the Royal Hawaiian Hotel. And we would, I'd like to say, borrow surfboards from our visitors or tourists who was staying at the Royal Hawaiian Hotel, and we'd go out and surf for about half an hour until we got scolding from the beach boys. But we got, we got very excited on riding surfboards in, in the early 60s, and then we progressed to this surfing spot in Waikiki called Ala Moana Bowls, which is one of the most exciting South Shore waves in Waikiki during the summertime. And uh, we mastered Ala Moana Bowls, and then we ventured to the North Shore, Haleiwa, Laniakea, and then to Sunset Beach. Uh, my brother Eddie mastered gigantic Sunset Beach at 40 feet Sunset Beach, and that's really big, big wave for that spot. And then Eddie eventually mastered Waimea Bay in 1967, November 19th, on a Wednesday. How do I remember all of that? Because I was in high school at that time, 
and Eddie was riding these massive 80 foot waves. We have a photograph of Eddie at home. His board is 12 feet long. And that board goes down the face of the wave seven times. I think you will have the pleasure of seeing that photograph at the Hank Yu Department Store Exhibit uh, Olympics. So when you see the photograph, you size his board up with the face of the wave and you'll find that it measures close to six to seven times and the board is 12 feet long. Um, what I'm trying to tell you is that that big wave, which was about 80 feet wave, uh, held the record as biggest wave ridden for over 40 years until 19, uh, until 19, no, until 2016, uh, 20, yeah, until 2016 was the last year we had the Eddie Ica big wave event. And um, at that time, the waves were close to 80 feet, if not bigger. But what I'm trying to say is that Eddie in 1967 rode one of the biggest waves ever ridden. In 1967, Eddie was also elected as the first lifeguard to be on the North Shore and specifically at this spot called Waimea Bay. Uh, Eddie worked there and saved lives in 1967 and I joined him in 1969. I joined Eddie in 1969 while I was going to college and um, I worked with Eddie saving lives at Waimea Bay for over 10 years and if you know something about Waimea Bay, the waves are 40 feet and it breaks in three feet of water, two feet of water, one meter of water. You have a 40 foot wave breaking in one meter of water and we'd have to save maybe five or six visitors a day and on busy days we will save 10 to 15 people a day. And in and in 10 years of lifeguarding there with Eddie, I'm proud to say that we didn't lose one life, not one life. And we didn't have any jet skis. We didn't have any helicopters. We didn't have Zodiac boats. We didn't have any speed boats. All Eddie and I had in those years from 1967 to 1977 was a surfboard in fins. So that is the unbelievable legacy of my brother Eddie Aikau and my family in saving lives. And at the same year in 67, Eddie rode the biggest waves ever in the entire world. Eddie was always a kind of adventurous, adventurous type of guy where he'd like, he'd like to have challenges. And at that time, there was a there was a traditional voyaging sailboat that was developed called the Hokulea. And the Hokulea would sail uh, from point A to point B without using any satellites or computers or graphs. They would sail and reach point A to point B, like from Honolulu to uh, Fiji. They would sail in the open ocean navigating by the moon, the stars, the wind, the currents. And Eddie wanted to get involved with, with the Hokulea because it was a, it was a traditional cultural um, experience of the Hawaiian people of what they did 200 years ago. Prior to that, the idea of the Hawaiians just happened to, to come across Hawaii in the big wide old O ocean and this was to prove that it was really calculated from wherever they they came from they knew that they was coming to Hawaii by navigational na natural navigational tools so Eddie went on the Hokulea and when he left Hawaii in 1978 they traveled off of the island of Molokai and at that time, 
there were winds blowing, hurricane, hurricane winds were blowing, and the Hokulea was sailing in rough seas, about 40 foot waves, and hurricane winds, and the Hokulea capsized. And there was a crew of about 15 Hawaiians on the canoe, uh, and Eddie, Eddie decided to paddle off and go get help and never was seen again. So in the, in the eyes of Hawaii, it's a, it's a gratitude that, that Eddie uh, had risked his own life to save his fellow crew. From Hawaii and from the Aikau family and from Uncle Clyde, aloha to all of our Japanese friends in Japan and especially all of the uh, Hank Yu uh, members. And I'd like to always, exp um, I'd like to always, um, I would like to always, exp I would like to also express that to have a better understanding of who Eddie Aikau and the Aikau family is all about, I would advise you to watch the ESPN uh, Hawaiian Hero, um, which is a film made about the life of Eddie Aikau. And I think uh, you'll be very, uh, very impressed uh, by watching the uh, footage and the whole story about Eddie in the 30 by 30 ESPN Hawaiian hero, Eddie Aikau. See you in Hawaii. Aloha, Pro Surfer no Wakita Takayuki desu. Mo sugoi idai na kata de, mo ano honto ni respect to shite ru, mo legend na Hawaiian no big wave surfer de ari, mo ano life guard de ari. もう本当に偉大な尊敬する方です。エリアイカは、えっと一番初めに選ばれたのは2007年、2008年シーズンに初めてインビティされました。でそれから11年間えっと連続でインビティしていただきまして、でやっぱり初めて選ばれた時はもう本当信じられないっていうのがもうちょあの率直な感想で、もう本当やっぱり。自分がそこにいていいのかっていうやっぱり世界の名だたるビッグエーバーの中で自分がいることが信じられなかったですけどもでもやはりプロサーファーとして何十年もノーショアでサーフィンやってきてやっぱりあのその長年パイプラインでやってきてワイミアもやってきて良かったなっていうふうにそれは本当にそういうふうに思いましてでやっぱり選ばれたからにはやっぱそのエリア江川さんの人生にこうあの恥じない恥じれないですしやっぱりそこをやっぱりこうあの光栄に思って感謝してやっぱりチャージしようっていう気が引き締まる思いでした。え今年エディアイトさんについていろんなことがフィーチャーされます。映画サーチフォーサーチも日本の方にお見かけることがあると思うんですけれども、どんな風に初めてあの日本の人に見てもらいたいでしょうか。うんとやっぱりそのエディアイカウさんのそのどういう偉大な人生だったのかっていうことをすごい知っていただきたいですし、それと同時にやっぱりそのあのエリアイカウの歴史、そしてそれにつながってやっぱりハワイアンの歴史、このハワイの歴史、そういうところをあの日本の方々に知っていただけたらすごい嬉しいなと思います。今回あのこの阪急のあのフェアにえっとあの。参加できることになってすごい光栄に思いますし、やはり僕本当ハワイが好きで、もうパイプラインが好きでワイミアが好きで今ここにいるんですけども、やっぱそういうこうあのハワイのことを知っていただけるなんかこの一つですし、なんかそういうこうなんていうんですかハワイのために何か自分ができることがあるのかなって考えたときに何かその自分ができることがあれば。っていうふうにすごい思っています。なのでこれを機会にすごいこうエディアイカウインビテーショナルとかアイカウファミリーだったりハワイアンの歴史ハワイの歴史がすごい伝われれば嬉しいと思っています。アロハマハロス。